to Capri Woo, after a boat ride and the train up to the what is this area called? This because this is not uh, downtown, right? I think it is downtown. Yeah, it's this downtown that is because like Capri is very interesting. Or like uptown, when you arrive <laughs> like at the bottom and then this little train takes you up. It's super cool. So now we're just going to our favorite lunch spot called called La Fontalina. Yeah. It's a really cool spot. However, you can only get there either by boat or by hike. Hiking. There's yeah, like steps. Lots of steps. There's lots of steps. I don't know the the actual count, but. It's a good workout before lunch. Let's go. Exactly. This is the craziest hike. I mean, we did a crazy hike yesterday in Positano, but this is pretty beautiful too. Just look at this. Look at this view. Look at cat. Cat is like freaking out. Tripping. Look at this incredible view. Wow. Oh, our planet is so beautiful. All right, let's go. Okay, let's go. Alex is like, I'm hungry. Let's go eat. They're growing in their own basil. And the view here is just incredible. <laughs> favorite part is the veggies. <laughs> Cat's holding like a knife and a fork together. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> this place is like probably one of my favorite restaurants in the world. Really? Yeah, like I dream the whole year to come back here and have a meal. Because it's just the quality of the ingredients. It's, it's different. You just taste it. It's just much better. Especially the veggies. Especially the veggies. Mm. Yeah, for me, the reason I love this place is like, as is James Bond view, you turn around and you feel like you're in a James Bond movie. <laughs> can't really see the excitement on his face right now. <laughs> it's the, the best gelato place, apparently. They make fresh waffles. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see what this place is all about. There's always a lineup here. Oh, 
The corn is so warm. Uh, you have such a sweet tooth. Only one in Italy. Only one in Italy. It's like Raffaello. Oh. Can I have some? <laughs> That's the best thing. Get other people to make gelato and then you can just try a little bit. So good. <laughs> So we just had um, our dinner, <laughs> barely had anything because we had really bad food experience. <laughs> but the lesson of the day, it it's, it's, it's funny, first of all it happens, it always happens with very touristic places like Capri is very touristic. We were at a different restaurant oh, in the morning <laughs> in Positano and the owner of the restaurant said something very wise, she said anytime I go to a place, oh now it's getting really dark, and the food is not good. She says, I just don't eat anything, I pay and I leave because, you know, I like my health first, that's always number one. Yeah, so it's better to be hungry. Yeah, it's better to be hungry but healthy than eat some kind of, you know, not healthy food or, you know, if you, you can just tell when something is not fresh and not prepared well. And funny enough, that's what happened to us <laughs> during this dinner. She was a prophet. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, it just wasn't good, so we paid and we left. <laughs> But it's fine, we had a great lunch, so... Oh, and I actually had the gelato, if you saw me eat it, that yeah. was amazing. Yeah, you, got, you guys had your dinner, that was gelato. <laughs> I'm gonna go look for some fruit. <laughs> Hopefully I can find it. <laughs> Good morning from Capri! It's our second day here, well technically we were only here for half a day yesterday and we're just here for a few hours today before we head off to Rome. Um, I really wanted to give you a quick tour of this place we're staying at because it's so funky and cool and I definitely want to show it to you. Alright, so I'm just gonna flip the camera and start first with the funky tiles that are everywhere. Just look at this, I don't know why it's not focusing. Hi cat! <laughs> The tiles are the highlight of this place. What do you think, Kat? <laughs> I love them. I want this to be my house. Seriously. So yeah, so we have this lounge area, big table, more tiles. Okay, I'll show you the bathroom. It's like tile overload. Look at that. And then once you walk into the kitchen, which we haven't used again um, because we have, we're only here for like less than a day, um, well, we use the iron to iron clothes. Yeah, again, crazy cool tiles. And then what do we have here? There's just a small bedroom here. Um, we didn't use this one because it's an extra one. All right, showed you the bathroom. I'm gonna show you the bedrooms. Again, as you keep walking, there's more tiles. That's Kat's room. This is where she's staying. I love that chandelier. And there's a window there and then more tiles this is the room where we stayed my little suitcase again another beautiful chandelier there's a balcony here I'll show you the view there's such a beautiful garden downstairs you can see people working in the garden oh, it's amazing to be able to grow your own stuff right in front of the house and then I'll show you the bathroom. Uh, where's the switch? That's not it. One second. Yeah. <laughs> more and more tile. I don't think I've seen so much tile in my life. Look at this. But it's cool. I mean, it works for this place. And it's really nicely combined with white because you have the closet doors that are white and then the beautiful tiles everywhere. And then, of course, the best part about this place is the view here from the balcony ta-da you can just see the sea over there i think yesterday we saw napoli there no alex no napoli's on the other side i think i've imagined it i remember seeing the lights in the background did you think i imagined it uh, there might be a different island i don't know i remember I at night ship, right? so. oh maybe that was a cruise ship i don't maybe it was a massive cruise ship so yeah, that, that's the view you get from here. It's beautiful. 
Absolutely beautiful and it's a nice and warm day today. Oh, here's a church actually, <laughs> right in the backyard. <laughs> what are you doing, Alex? I'm looking for where to go for lunch. Where I'm, to go I'm for lunch? <laughs> Alex is the best. Yeah, I'm, he, always, I'm the guy he's who the, puts together that itinerary. He's the best. <laughs> I love you so much, you know that? I really appreciate that. Love you too. That's how we end up in the best places. <laughs> and sometimes not. And sometimes not, it happens, like last night. <laughs> So yep, yeah, that's the tour. We're going Alejandro. Uh, well, for now, we'll find it. We'll probably get a me and you are probably gonna skip breakfast. <laughs> yeah. I ain't find anything. We don't do croissants. I wonder, we'll, we'll do some, maybe the cat will try to find a little breakfast. We need to feed this girl. Yeah. <laughs> I blow dried my hair last night. Let's see how long the straight hair lasts. I feel like it's already starting to curl up. <laughs> My favorite part of Capri is Giardini de Augusto. Is that what it's called? Perfect spot for lunch, even though you're not technically allowed to eat here. But we're, we're breaking the rules. Yeah. Not the law, the rules. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really nice scenic viewpoint. And we'll try to take that road down. I don't know if it's open or not. Can you walk there? I don't see any people at all. I hope so. But you take it where? To the beach? To the beach. The water looks incredible there. Wow. <laughs> Alex discovered a cute little beach here. Yeah. Seems to be all locals but us. nice actually it's a little bay and the water is really warm and it's a really beautiful color too Back from snorkeling. Did you see a lot of fish? Yeah, a lot of fish, but I wish uh, we have a little GoPro, but I don't have the housing. So, oh. yeah, so what's, next time. What's the biggest fish you saw? How big was it? That's massive. They're like families. Like. Any colorful ones? Uh, just silver, yellow lines, nothing too tropical. Sweet. I met this beautiful Brazilian. <laughs> from Brazil here in Italy. Yeah, oh. no, but I live in Milan. Milan yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you can introduce yourself. Hey, okay, I'm Marley. I'm Marley. I am 41 what? and I live oh, in you Milan. Oh, you look great. Whoa. <laughs> yes, I'm Whoa. <laughs> I <laughs> hope I look like you when I'm your age. That's amazing. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. <laughs> so I, can, I can say I'm 35 and people will believe me. Oh, yeah. yeah. If you said 32, I would believe it too. Oh, that's amazing. It's very nice. That's you are beautiful. beautiful. I Thank love you. it. <laughs> very nice experience meeting you here in Capri. Uh, How do you say obrigado? Obrigado. Obrigado. Bringing back his real knowledge. It was so amazing. It brings back childhood memories because we had the same thing, exactly the same setup in our dacha, which is like a country house back home <laughs> in Azerbaijan. And if you wanted some grapes, all you gotta do is reach and grab some. And they're super delicious. Sort of sour sweet, not too sweet. Oh, Not gonna vandalize this property. <laughs> it's very tempting though. <laughs> oh wow, this is where we're going, this restaurant. What is this called, Alex? Bunny de trip Oh, anyways, we'll put it. <laughs> That is super cool. Nice. Bye bye, beautiful restaurant. So we're coming back to Capri now. 
back. But what, what I really like is that, you know, boats here is such a common way of transportation. You don't feel so comfortable to be on boats. It's amazing. Exactly. For me, it's like a special occasion. I love it. I know, bro. That's just like their transportation vehicle. We're like, just let's take pictures fast. <laughs> and they're like, we do, do this every day. Oh, we actually, yeah. There's Beyonce in both. Maybe we'll see Beyonce. Give it be nice. <laughs> Maybe.